Hello guys, this is Ronyan and welcome to the Long Dork. Uh, we're checking out the test build. Uh, they have just issued a hotfix, the first hotfix to the test build. It's dot .413 and what it does is basically fix that little issue I was complaining about last time. It makes, it brings back the more traditional tab menu and it has your hours of daylight left and your all your like status meters on the bottom. It's a little different than it used to be. It, it has icons uh, filled in instead of bars, but that's a pretty minor thing. In my opinion, it doesn't change the gameplay at all. So, uh, as where we left off, we are at the old abandoned. We are at the old uh, forestry lookout tower, which is laying in pieces here for some unknown reason, and the uh, new radio tower is kind of taking its place on the uh, landscape. And I think I already explored pretty much everything here. There's a feather over here I'm going to grab real quick. And today we're going to make our way to the uh, Trapper's Cabin and eventually on the Forlorn Muskig. I want to check out, uh, I just want to check out that region real quick and make sure nothing obvious has been added to it in this, in this update. Another change they added with the hotfix uh, that just went live today was that you can now have a uh, your the weapon you choose when a wolf first attacks you you can that weapon will take damage now from the encounter so that was expected it just hadn't been added in as of uh, yesterday so it's in the game now and I'm gonna try it out as soon as I find a wolf we'll take him on. So long as my condition is uh, decent, and I'm, yeah, it's pretty much 95% there, or close to it. I think it was 93%, but okay, we are too encumbered to move. So I'm gonna try uh, actually eating from the radio menu instead. So I'm starving, and I don't really have to play this uh, like an interloper run where I starved the whole day. I'd rather take the weight off of my, uh, take the weight off of my back, so to speak. So it's really easy to eat and drink now from this menu. A lot quicker than going through the uh, inventory screens. I do have a health condition right now, so, or uh, affliction. I think it's just frostbite risk, I'm not sure though. Now let me check uh, my, yeah, we're going to build a fire right here and, uh, and warm up a little bit. I think I'm in a, yeah, I'm in a windbreak. I have to get used to that being at the top of the screen, that indicator. She's a fire striker with some accelerant since I've got a lot of that. throw an extra log on there. Man, I'm super tired also. We need to cook some more coffee. Yeah, let's cook coffee. So, I've only got two hours of daylight left. I'll probably do some travel in the night. Uh, I don't think the Aurora Borealis is going to show up yet, but we'll check it out and see if the night sky looks any different. So I'm just going to drink a bunch of cups of coffee for now and uh, just to keep me going through the night for a little while at least. I may end up sleeping just to give you guys better visibility but we can always travel with the lantern as well. Okay, one more, one more uh, coffee here and we should be good to go. No. So got one last one there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and eat the, the hot one. There you go. And right here, uh, it has this new checkbox, add to radial, on the item. So if I check that, go to my drink menu and the radial, it's, they're all right there. So. That's a nice little thing they added to it. Now I'm gonna drink 
at least one more. Probably two. Probably one more after this. Yeah. I guess I can go ahead and pull a torch here. I don't know if it's going to stay lit because it looks a little bit windy. I'm still, still too heavy to, to really move. That's a bummer there. No, I think it's mainly, is it mainly my rested state? I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's see if I can take pain pills. Oh, yeah, that's it. I still had those, uh, I think the game saved uh, right after I got injured in the last video. So I still had a sprained ankle or something. Yep, now we're running. The game probably should have told me that. It probably should have said that I wasn't running because of that. Okay, we have two wolves here. This is kind of dangerous. I think we're going to go for a kill on one. It's going to try to pull one away from the other. So I'm going to try to kill this one, then I'll try to pull the other one just to a regular like, knife attack. Let's just leave him for now. we we'll find this other guy. See how that works. Uh, let's look at my hunting knife now. Okay, I'm not sure which one I just used, but one of those apparently lost some condition. It wasn't a, a really large amount, though. So let's treat myself here. Should have got a uh, old man beard's uh, wound dressing. Old man's beard wound dressing, but I didn't have one on me. So that and the antiseptic should do it. Also, another thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, there's been some new uh, quality settings added for the graphics for the draw distances. So now you have a uh, shadow tree tree billboard. I'm not certain on what that is. Uh, doesn't really say terrain details and terrain density. Okay, that's just trees in the distance, and this is just closer trees, I guess. Uh, those trees to visibly pop in. Okay, I've maxed everything out. I'm running on a 1080 Ti, so uh, I think it's going to be pretty close to a smooth 60 FPS for you guys. But there could be the chance of a dip below that in this video, so be aware of that. may not be the smoothest video I've ever put out. I do like the way the night sky looks in this game. Anybody who's ever been away from the, the city to go camping or something will recognize that the uh, night sky, it really does look somewhat similar to this with the amount of stars you can see. Light pollution is a major problem in the cities for, for looking at the night sky. And yeah, I left the wolf for now. I think we're gonna we'll, we'll find a deer or something and quarter that. I'm trying to find my way back to the tracks right now, but I'm not sure where I am. Uh, trying to find a landmark here. I don't have any uh, charcoal, do I? Yeah, see this map? I was actually wrong. This map does not tell you where your current location is. So it's not like a GPS where it tells you where you are now. So, uh... I think what I saw was a corpse lying on the ground and I thought it, that was the icon for me as the player. And it, that's not how it works, so it doesn't tell you. Uh, so it, it'll map the major features for you also, but you have to do the uh, detailed mapping with the charcoal bits if you find them that far. I am going to go grab some of this uh, moss off the tree. Pick up a few more sticks. I don't know how cold
cold of a night we're gonna have. Pretty sure the tracks uh, are right over there, but find out. Go ahead and load up the rifle good. Ten rounds ready to go. And if I want to here, I can get another rabbit. Pull out a rock. Ah, forgot to aim. Hit you got a right click, just like with another weapon. Eh, not too good at that rock throwing yet. It's really a lot more effective when you get close to the rabbit. If you're too far from from him, he'll just take off, or he'll he'll only stun for like five seconds. So that's one of the downsides to it. No, oh, not quite. Any rabbit? Ah, I'm just gonna leave him for now. What? Wait, no other weapons in inventory. Okay, though that's a glitch right there. That should have pulled out the rifle instead of telling me I had no weapons. Second there, I thought I might have dropped the rifle. Okay, well this rabbit is presenting himself for a really easy hit here. Right in the hood. Yep, take him out. We'll keep him with us. And you see that indicator in the top center? I figured out by watching another video that that's just a, a scent of the meat on you. So the more of those uh, you have, the easier you are to smell by wolves and such. I got here one actually. Uh, somewhere. Where's he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'll just scare him off. So I guess if you probably if you have two rabbits on you, that will go up even more. I was thinking about the, uh, the strategy for interloper, the being able to catch a rabbit right off the bat is going to maybe change the uh, strategy a little bit. I know you can find a deer carcass on day one, so uh, it may, may not change it too much because the guts are the main thing you want to get off them. And you can already get guts on day one. Starting to get a little uh, cold here. Sorry for that pause. I accidentally hit the escape. Um, okay, so the, tra the trapper's cabin is actually right over here, so let's head this way. I inadvertently was was headed for it the whole time, I think. Collect another stick. Man, running is all this running is really wearing me down. We're gonna sleep in the trapper's cabin. So I don't think they've added the northern lights yet, guys. That's uh, that'll be fun when they do, though. I'm still showing a status effect, and I'm not sure what that is. like a health badge over there, I don't know. So I shouldn't be at risk for hypothermia. Is it frostbite? No, I don't think it can be frostbite. Is that the interior or the exterior? Okay, yeah, that's the inner layer. Does that mean I have a risk for frostbite from that because it's frozen? Hmm. Anyhow, let's uh... Do a little switch here. I'll just switch those two layers. I don't really, I don't really think it matters, but if I was wearing a frozen toque on the inner layer, that could be a problem.
Yeah, here's Max's last stand. I assume it's still called the same. Yeah. What do you got? Oh, you want nothing for me. See, that's why you froze to death, buddy, because you didn't bring any, any tools or anything with you. It's kind of funny. So many of the bodies you find, it looks like they didn't bring any. They just came out there with nothing. Like, like did you think you were going to survive with, no, with nothing on you? Uh, maybe they ate up everything and just died. I don't know. There's some reflections on the rock from the windows. I know some of the lighting effects are new. I don't know if that's new specifically. Hit him. Not get enough though. Kind of quarter him. Okay, come a little closer, man. Nah. Gun was wobbling around too much for me. That deer is probably gonna die. But it'll take a while. I don't wanna wait. Ah, just, just ahead of him there. Well, I got plenty of bullets still. Might as well use some more. This ain't gonna be a long run, guys. I'm just doing this little mini series to showcase the features of the new update, and then I'll probably do a full series in Interloper and the new version once that's released, and probably in a couple of weeks. Let's say polish this update a little bit more. Okay, so I'm totally exhausted here. I'm just gonna let the uh, deer uh, die out here, I guess. I can collect them in the morning. Nine hours of daylight. Yeah, we'll sleep for uh, ten. Just got here just in time. Just got uh, hypothermia risk. Okay, pitch dark. Got the lantern. Yeah. You can see some of the, the texture improvements here. Let's take everything and we'll cool it out in the morning. I still have not got used to clicking and holding to open the recontainer. Energy bars, jerry, jerry can. More bullets, that's good. MRE. This place is loaded, man. Huh? Ah, I clicked on the workbench. Still has this little like glitch in it where it it really delays you a lot, but this will let me show you what's new here. This whole menu system here is new. They, just, they uh, added it with the dot 411. So uh, this is stuff you can craft by hand here, and just tells you the recipe basically here. Location to craft anywhere. Tool type required none. So you can see it says you need to craft a snare on the workbench. Oh, yeah, I think that's always been like the hooks, lines. And I'll tell you when you need a sewing kit for this other stuff. And then it even has the forging items here, too. So it all has it condensed into a tabbed menu, which is kind of nice, I guess. Container and I'm going to bed. Let's uh, eat a little candy bar or energy bar and drink some water. Oh, 
Oops. Okay, having some issues here. I want to extinguish the lantern. I think I can unequip it from here. Uh, this. I'm just going to drop it. Actually, that doesn't put it out, so. Let's pick it back up. Maybe it'll let me put it out now. Yeah. Not sure what happened with that. But we're just going to sleep the maximum. Trapper's cabin bed is the best bed in the game, probably still. Bed warmth plus 9 Fahrenheit. And you also recover more condition in this bed. Not sure why that is, but that's the way the game works. I forget, I just do still have a rabbit on me, but I'm not too worried about attracting a wolf or anything. Um, let's head back out this way. Let's see if there's a dead deer laying somewhere. Uh, I don't see one. We're going to go ahead and take, take out another one here. Headshot on that one, I think. Alright, we're gonna quarter it. Yeah, I'm gonna be freezing at the end of this, pretty much. Oh, yeah, it's... That's just another change. It really, uh... Shows all the body parts including the head and stuff and the bones. Can I take that or no, it doesn't look like I can take this. Oh wow, I can barely move. May have to drop a fire in place here. Uh, I guess I'll just use that noose print. I don't feel like breaking it down. smelled out pretty quickly by a wolf. Let's cook what we got here. I'm losing a bit of condition from being dehydrated, but it's not a major deal. I'll correct that here in a second. Got really bright. Let's drink some sodas. Yeah, once I get used to all these uh, uh, UI changes with the radio menu and such, I think I'm gonna like the like that a lot better actually. I'm just gonna eat like a a lot of an MRE here. I'm gonna drop these bags for now, actually. Cause they are way too heavy, and this rabbit, all the other cooked stuff on me. That's a bit more uh, gruesome than it was before. Actually, my uh, my tiredness is. Still quite high. Turn a couple of cups of coffee and boost my energy here. Huh. That helped a little bit. Let's 
so it's possible you get tired easier and it's possible that I'm just running a lot trying to show everything in this. Not sure. Try to get to the, the muskeg. And briefly, we're going to look around there. I'm not going to stay there. Just want to confirm that there's no towers or anything added to that area. There's some good tender. I'll pick that up since I could use it. Feathers. just in the last hour of game time. And most of what I was doing was walking. This series is going to be at the top of Timberwolf Mountain after uh, after I check out Forlorn Muskeg we're going to head there and that'll probably be the last video I do for this unless there's some uh, significant thing added later to a hotfix I would just do like a spot video for that a short video explaining it so let's get into the Muskeg Obviously uh, new in this region yet. There's a wolf coming after me. That's not too good. Still coming at me? Yeah. Ah. Well, I got him before he got any major affliction on me. Kind of mad at you, man.
let's just have a quick uh, like 360 view once we get out here to the train cars. Okay, this is the normal radio tower that's there in previous games, or previous versions of the game. So there's nothing new about that, to my knowledge. And I think over here is an out, little out, outpost, hunting, hunting blind. And then somewhere, somewhere there is the forge area. To me it looks pretty much the same. Getting pretty cold here. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it for for this area. I don't see anything new. We're gonna head out and head down to the other end of the tracks and go through the dam much quicker this time in order to get over to Timberwolf Mountain pretty soon. I'm going to say this is probably the most dangerous uh, region in the game because it is so uh, barren and devoid of any supplies and uh, you can fall through the ice really easily if you're not being real, uh, careful about the pests if you take across the lake out there and lion wolves seem to be pretty uh, abundant out there so they'll give you a hard time I'm gonna go ahead and drop the rifle and some other stuff here. Drop the hunting knife. Drop that. Don't need two jerry cans. Don't need rifle cleaning kits. Don't need more than one of those. Drop all the ammo. Checking on the condition of my clothes here. Oh yeah, it's pretty low on some some items. Whoa, it's really low on that one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get into the uh, and back into Mystery Lake and repair some of that stuff. Seeing my feels like temperature. Uh, yeah, this is just so showing the bonuses overall. All right, let's start a fire here. Not take any chances. this 11% uh, took. Okay, 
Okay, got it on the first try. 86% is definitely good enough. Do the other one. Yeah, oh, good deal. Uh, let's see. That's pretty bad. Fifty nine is good enough. My fire's dying. Have anything left? Looks like the temperature is pretty well above 32, according to that, or right at 32. So I'm going to call it an episode here guys, I'll probably skip all the way into Pleasant Valley to start the next video because you guys don't want to really watch me uh, walk all the way down the track here. So if you enjoyed the video give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more uh, 4K gaming content, including a lot of the long dark in the next couple of months before we get up to story mode. I'm really excited for that and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks guys.